Sarah the Gardener and I wish life could be perfect but it's not. I haven't spent a lot of time in my garden lately for several reasons. Number one, we have been, I am so over the weather, oh my goodness, we have had so many days like this. wind and the, oh, it's just been nasty so when you want to go out in the garden it is not an ideal thing to do and then when it's beautiful I've been unwell and so oh, so frustrating but the beauty is even when you don't get on top of your garden as long as you put something in it you'll be able to get something back and that's really cool so my garden is a complete mess you have to forgive me for the knee-high grass and the weeds creeping through but we're going to go out there and we're going to look at some things that are ready for harvest i do like these things from spring but i have to say i am looking forward to summer and that's less than a week away and it's just going to be absolutely fabulous so join me in the garden let's go let's go let's go let's go yay Okay, now you'll, it's no secret, I have a love-hate relationship with these broad beans. I love to grow them, and I enthusiastically set out each year with the intention of liking them. I like them. But, as we rip them out, I have one last attempt up my sleeve before my mate Steve gets them all. Steve likes beans, and he likes that I grow them. And so I'm going to take these in the kitchen and I'm going to show you what I'm going to do. I have to pick them first. <gasps> so this is probably enough. That'll do. My mate Steve can have the rest. Let's get these in the kitchen. Right. Okay, first step, peel them. Wish the kids were home from school. And they could do it. I love how broad beans have inside them this beautiful fluffy little protection like they're the most precious jewels you know when you get those jewelry boxes and they're velvet lined apparently they're worthy of jewelry treatment i wish i could learn to love them Last one. Whew. Now the next step is to take them out of their little rubber jackets because they're not very nice to eat. Well, poor beans aren't very nice to eat anyway. So, um, okay. This isn't very easy to do. Now with my recipe. A substantial little rubber jacket. Um, with my recipe, it was optional as to whether or not you take their coats off. I think I'm going to leave them on. Yeah, I'm going to leave them on. Option chosen. And all of this will go great on the compost.
that pays to read the recipe through. This is when you take the beans out of their rubber jackets and it's a lot easier doing it this way. You know that wasn't that bad. Mash that with some butter and it would be like, okay, maybe, maybe Steve won't get them. Maybe. Right, well that was a bit of a faff, but the broad beans are now out of their rubbery jackets. And so what I have now is my sterilised jar. I have garlic. Oregano, coriander seeds, and black pepper. And then I've got apple cider vinegar and sunflower oil. So, firstly, the directions said put some garlic in the bottom. I think that's what it said. Spanish and all. And then vinegar. Now we put some broad beans in. The garlic's floating. Okay, so broad beans and then some, and then some coriander, some oregano. Garlic, more beans. Okay, and then clean the rim so that you get a good seal. And then put the lid on. From this stage, so good. Um, from this stage, just follow your safe food preserving procedures. Okay, alright. for lunch. Mm. Yum. Why did I not like these? Seriously. Right. Okay, I'm going to take these to the compost and get the next harvest. Firstly, I need to say 
safety first with knives because I just cut myself. You just thought I'd stab myself with that. Now, asparagus. These are probably a little bit longer than they should be, but they get away on you so quickly. You need to harvest every day. And if you miss a day, then they get like this, but it's okay. So it's not a tight little bud at the end, but it's still perfectly edible and I will eat it. But I'll show you how. Right, so first what we have to do is we have the uh, one and a half cups of cider vinegar. in the water. Right, some right. brown sugar. So we need two tablespoons of brown sugar. chilies. These are frozen, but they'll do. I should have. Let me take the ends off them. Cooking with Sarah. Right. Um, this is the juice of an orange. And this is its zest. So it's going in. And then I've got some on there as well. Kefir lime leaves. Oh, they smell so good. So they've gone in. Okay, yep, no, that's it. And some pickling spice. Pickling spice, we need a tablespoon of pickling spice. This has got pimento, black peppercorns, cassia, ginger, cloves, coriander seeds, and chili. And we want a tablespoon. Right, that looks good. Now, so now I'm going to put this on the stove and bring it to the boil. Okay, so while that's coming to the boil, I'm going to prepare my asparagus. I'm just going to snap it off so it's just the tender. So it snaps where it's good to eat. Because these were left a little long, they're a bit warty at the top, at the bottom. Okay, so now I have a sterile jar. And I think I might need to do some trimming here. But it's okay, nothing. Nothing's wasted, so that is that's the right length for my jar. They all need to be to the right length. same length, I just pop them in the jar. Okay, now that the um, vinegar mixture has um, come to a boil, I'm going to rescue out all the good stuff. Chili. And the lime leaves. Oh, they smell so good. And all the spices that are floating around in there. Jar. 
and then fill it up. Now the cool thing, when you have leftover um, pickling thing, um, pickling vinegar, what I like to do is I like to keep it because then you mix it with your favourite um, oil and you've got a salad dressing. It's just brilliant. A sprig of, it says dill or tarragon, I like to use. Uh, I don't have any dill at the moment, but I do have tarragon. Get that in there. And then process in your preferred food preservation mood, um, fresh cooker or whatever you do. Um, that's one of my faves, pickled asparagus. But we can't muck around here all day. Back to the garden. There's a lot of spinach and we're not going to get through this in one meal. I know it wilts but I have a plan. Some of it's got bug damage but it's not like we're eating caterpillars. We'll be fine. Right so let's sort this out. Okay it's washed. And now just lay it all on top of each other. Roll it up. Must be tight. And then I just slice it into manageable sized chunks. Stuff it into a bag as best you can. And then squeeze all the air out. And then that is one meal with a spinach. have it we have enough spinach here for um, once a fortnight over the autumn and the winter so that's gonna be awesome and then we'll just eat the rest of the fresh stuff throughout the summer months before it bolts fabulous right. and now I might get these bits and bobs to the chickens and then back to the garden I think the onions ready because it's starting to bend over so it's not bad it's loads of them this big but I'll leave it for today maybe tomorrow right so there's the peas 
I love these paints. They're my favourite variety. Alderman Tall. But the thing is, I have to face facts. It's too windy where I am to grow tall peas. If it's not working, year after year, something has to give. So I think for me, from now on, it's dwarf peas. At least I can still have peas. Right, let's get these babies open. All right. Love peas. Here we have a bag of peas. Put them in the freezer. And a whole pile of pots to go in the compost. And we need to go back out into the garden again for yet another harvest. And you know what? They are so good. Mm. That's summer right there. Mm. Delicious. Oh, excuse me. Choking on it. It's too good. Oh, so good. But what else I have? What else I have? It's pretty cool. It's not many, but it's the start of many. Raspberries. And, oh my gosh, I mean, look at this perfect specimen here. And he's delicious. Mm. Oh my gosh, so good. But, we can't stop here. One more thing to do. So, come back to the garden. Come on, let's go. Actually, I'll leave you here with the strawberries. I'll be right back. Finally, I have beautiful, beautiful flowers. Now I just have to figure out how to do flower arranging. Thanks so much for watching today. It's so good to be back in the garden. And um, take care and we'll see you next time. <laughs>